We've reached the knockout stage of the World Cup and it's getting stormy. We've got two former champions standing toe-to-toe -to -toe as France take on Argentina for a place in the quarter-finals. It's just knockout. As for Argentina, well, none of us are quite sure what's going on. <laughs> is it Sao Paulo? Is it Messi? Messi. Who's in charge? Is it a division? Mm. It's well, been quite it's, a story. It, it looks that way, Gary. I think the, with the, the, the scenes that we saw in the last game when Messi was t taking the, uh, the, the, the team talk basically when they were on the way back out at, at, at half time. That's partly because we were discussing it earlier. Well, this, this is Messi's last World Cup. This is his last chance to win what he's, 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 he's always wanted to, uh, to win and desperately uh, needed to. So Tough one to call. In one word each, France or Argentina? Jürgen? I go with Argentina. Did you? I've got the French passport, so... <laughs> 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 Argentina. Okay, they could go to extra time. Anything could happen in this one. Uh, these two happen. sides have met twice before in World Cups on both occasions. Argentina came out the top and went on to reach the final. Let's head over to the Kazan Arena. Your commentators are Danny Murphy and Guy Mowbray. Thank you, Gary. Welcome everyone to Kazan. The city's name derived from the local word for a cauldron, and that could not be more appropriate. The World Cup pot is now boiling, and we start the knockout stages with a clash of former champions. France made their breeze through the group, looked stiffer than it needed to be. Argentina had to battle, maybe even amongst themselves, to get over the line in the end, at the very end. A little smile crept across the face of Lionel Messi when he heard Argentina's supporters respond to that. Not often you see a mascot taller than the referees. Messi shone, particularly in the first half, last time out against Nigeria. I'd like to see his step count of an evening. I think he hits his target. Messi was the target there. He's used to that. Yeah, I think it's Matuidi. Not much in it. Thing is, if you run in quick at Messi, you're always going to end up in trouble. So it's going to be interesting to see how he adapts to that and whether they can get him enough of the ball. Here he is on the right once more. Thought he'd been unfairly blocked. The referee's view was partially blocked. One, Argentina nil, no mistake from their main man, and they never looked like being one. Angry wave of the arm towards the referee with the jostling resulting in an Argentine down. We forget when now Messi in an advanced position. Mercado. Pretty cool in the way he tucked his away the other day, too. If I remember rightly, he went quite early with that one, also. Yeah, some keepers do. They, some, they try to guess early, but it makes it easier if they do. I always found if a keeper went too early or recently, you know, wonderfully gifted forward players with him. He's having to work back as a fullback here against Tangolo Kante. He did pretty well against him. He played that swashbuckling 3-4-3, which just hasn't worked with these players. Messi. Messi. In came Conte. Messi. Mascherano. That was Perez on the spin, and that... Mascherano. Messi. Out to Di Maria. Di Maria back to Messi. Oh. There was a tangle of feet as Messi got into the penalty area. The referee had a perfect view of it. Didn't flinch. Messi didn't ask. He didn't, to be fair, he didn't. He looked to get the first touch, though. Messi.
Perez, or Mercado rather. Perez has drifted in. Messi. Messi. Pavon. Pavard gets it away. What a strike from Angel Di Maria! It is a shot from the heavens! A rocket out of nowhere has made it France 1, Argentina 1. Next. Mastrano, Mastrano. Spot half time in Kazan. It was advanced. That's the only change so far, so we can only presume that Messi will continue ploughing down the middle for now. And you can keep your Moscow rain because here in Kazan it is absolutely cracking the flags again. Rojo being on a booking will be a factor in his uh, leaving the action early too. Messi using Mercado as a shield. Now he breaks out, it's just too high for him. Messi, Messi's got it in! Deflected in! Mercado claims the touch! A golden one for Argentina! Wow, there's a noise around here now! France 1, Argentina 2. The defender who scored the first goal of Jorge Sampaoli's time in charge of the Argentinian national team has just scored one that's much more important. Amazing how quickly a game of football can change. Benjamin Pavard with a dream strike for his first France goal. He is a, a mixed bag player. Pavard. Through the legs of Fernandez. Kylian Mbappe's star is shining now. And it's risen high. Neymar. Two of the world's. There is a name that we will hear, all being well injury wise, for a long, long time to come. Kylian Mbappe. We've been watching him since he was 14, 15, broke into Monaco's team at 16. And now he's got his second. He takes his time and whips it, and then hits it. France have put four in the Argentina net, and look well set for the quarter-final. Messi. Don't often get a game with five. There's, there's probably a couple of guys in the studio going, take it yourself, well, all three of them probably. All four of them, never mind. It's their way to a win against Australia. for that in a moment with Messi finding his way barred unfairly and taking it quickly to take Matuidi out of the game Di Maria he's caught late that'll be a free kick Otamendi's lost it Pogba couldn't keep it Messi now then Messi out to Mesa big deflection on that but unlike the one that Messi had generally made the right choices went to go long went to play short for a kick, Argentina, Messi bounced back to his feet with a touch of anger, a lot of frustration. Don't forget Matthew. Nice touch from Maximiliano Meza. Messi. Mercado. Mascherano. Giroud's into challenge. Challenge, what a pace of the pass, correct. Fakir's lost possession, though. And here's Messi. And Messi has managed to get through, but oh. he was off balance and he scuffed the shot. They win it back well. And Argentina need a goal very quickly. Here goes Messi. Here is Aguero. And the threat of Aguero holders were about to lose the beaten finalists. 
Messi in. There's a chance. Oh, maybe there's a bit of life left yet. Because Sergio Aguero only needs one chance. Hold on to your hats. There's a big two minutes on the way. Oh, wow. France four, Argentina three. It's another one out of nowhere. What a pass from Messi. Was he ever missing Aguero? No, but the pass from Messi is exactly why he's needed deeper. Di Maria puts it in. Sergio Aguero helps it out. Drilled across, deflected away. Last touch of the match. We had excitement at the end, but in the end, it is France who've won through to the World Cup quarterfinals on a dramatic afternoon in Kazan. Kylian Mbappe with two of the four goals, and he won the penalty that started things off.